Well, the COVID-19 pandemic has pushed millions of people below the poverty line worldwide. Now, remember, Russia is categorized as an upper middle income nation. But even here, the pandemic and the resultant lockdowns have pushed many people to rely on charities to get by. Our next report gets you all the details. Winter in Russia is hard. And for the poor in Moscow, who have no shelter over their head, finding a place to live is a matter of life and death. A charity in Moscow this year has said that the number of people who have sought refuge in their shelter homes has gone up by 300%. When the pandemic started last spring, the average amount of people who came to the rescue shelter on a day-to-day -day basis increased to 300. It is three times more than usual. The lockdown imposed to curb the spread of the COVID-19 infection has crippled the economy. According to the Ministry of Labour and Social Protection in Russia, in the fourth quarter of 2019, an estimated 13.5 million people were categorized as living below the poverty line. And by the end of 2020, this number had shot up to nearly 20 million Russians. Charities in Russia are now struggling to help out those who have been reduced to living on the streets. It is always something that happens in our routine. One case happened about a week ago when there was freezing cold and snowing. We received a call during the night. We found a young man born in 1986 near McDonald's. His leg was broken. He had a pair of crutches with him. He was drunk as it was cold and lots of homeless people use alcohol during the cold weather. As far as I understood, he did not get to the place. He sat down right there in the snowbank and the snow started to cover him. As a legacy of the Soviet Union, a right to housing is mentioned in Article 40 of the Russian Constitution. So the state is duty-bound to provide permanent shelter to its citizens. But in recent decades, this provision has seldom been upheld. So even before the pandemic struck, homelessness in Russia was on the rise. The most complicated thing about the homeless is when a person gets to the street, his mind changes. It is a very complicated issue to get him back from that setting. It takes a long time for our psychologists to bring them back to normal life. It is the most difficult thing because the street swallows you. With over 11,000 cases recorded as the average for the last seven days, COVID-19 infections are showing signs of slowing down. But the economic devastation wrought by the pandemic will take a long time to tide over. And in the meanwhile, those who have been unfortunate enough to be rendered homeless in Russia are fighting a battle for survival in the bitter cold. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.